Okay, so this presentation is on the shapley schubach Power Index. Um, the shapley schubach Power Index is a method for calculating power in a weighted voting system. Uh, we've seen this with the Banzaf Power Index. This is a different method now. It differs from Banzaf because it creates its coalitions differently, and it doesn't identify critical players. It rather, it identifies pivotal players. A pivotal player is a player who, the moment they join a coalition, turns it into a winning coalition. So... How many sequential coalitions are there in a weighted voting system? So the sequential coalition means that all players will be a member of every team. They just join it in a different order. And to find the different orders, we'll use n factorial, where n is the number of members in the weighted voting system. So if we look at this example down below, we see there's four players. Player one has 10 votes, player two has seven, player three has four, and player four has three. Out of those four players, we would say four factorial is 24, so we have 24 sequential coalitions. Now, to make this list, we would say, all right, the first sequential coalition would be player one, player two, player three, player four, and they join it in that order. And we want to take the last two and switch their order, so we can say the next group would be player one, player two, player four, player three. And then... We'll change this to player three, and we'll keep on going on until we've looked at all of the different orders that we can um, list these players in. So I'm just going to go to the next page where I have all of the orders pre-written out. I will give you a template like this so that you don't have to generate the list of 24 sequential coalitions, but instead you have to just find the, sequen the, the pivotal players in each sequential coalition. So if we look at this first coalition, P1, P2, P3, P4, we say, well, P1 has 10 votes. That's not enough to get to 20. P2 has 7, so 10 plus 7 is 17. That's not enough. P3 has 4, and we say 10 plus 7 plus 4, that's 21. That is enough. So we're going to underline player 3 and say that's the pivotal player for this sequential coalition. Now, again, different from Banzaf. Banzaf could have multiple critical players in each coalition. shapley schubik there's exactly one pivotal player in each coalition. So you're only going to underline one in any group. But the person underlined will be different um, depending on when the team makes it to 20 because that's our quota. So if we go to the next one, we see that, all right, here's number two that we'll look at. We have 10 votes plus 7 plus three, we say, well, that adds up to 20, so we'll underline player four. And from there, we'll go on to the next one. Um, player one has 10, player three has four, player two has seven, player one has 10, player three has four, player four has three, that's 17, that's not enough. Here we have to go to the fourth player. Player four has seven, that adds up beat the 20 finally. So we'll go through this and say, when do we get to 20 based on each person's votes? Player one has 10, player four has three votes, player two has seven. So let me erase some of this to make it easier to see. So you see we've underlined the third player, the fourth player down here on the fourth line, on the fifth line, back to the third player. On the sixth line, let's see, this is 10 plus three plus four, that's 17, that's not enough. We need the fourth player to make it to 20 or more. And we'll do this for each of the coalitions. Seven plus 10 plus four, seven plus 10 plus three, seven plus four plus 10, seven plus four plus three, that's not enough. We have to go to the fourth player. Seven plus three plus 10, that's 20, so that works. And here we have seven plus three plus four, that's 14, that's not enough, we need player one. All right, we'll go to the third column now. Player three has four, player one has 10, player two has seven, so there we go. 
Player three has four, player one has 10, player four has three, that's 17, that's not enough. We need the fourth player in this sequential coalition. Player three has four, player two has seven, player one has 10, that's 21, that works. And that's what we're doing here. We're underlining the pivotal player, that's the player that gets us to the quota. Uh, let's see, player three has four, player two has seven, player four has three, that's 14, that's not enough, we need the fourth player. Player three has four, player four has three, player one has 10, that's 17, that's not enough, we need the fourth player. Four, three, seven, that's not enough. And now for the last column, player four has three, player one has 10, player two has seven, that comes out to exactly 20, that's good. So the third player is pivotal. Three plus 10 plus four, that's not enough, we need the fourth player here. Three plus seven plus 10, that is enough. Three plus seven plus four, that's 14, that's not enough, we need the fourth player. 3 plus 4 plus 10, that's 17, that's not enough, we need the fourth player. And 3 plus 4 plus 7, that's 14, we need the fourth player. So now that we have all of our underlining done, we found all of the pivotal players in each of these sequential coalitions. The rest is similar to the Banzaf power index. We say, well, how many times did we underline player 1? So we go through here and we say 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times we underline player one. And because there's 24 sequential coalitions, we know there's a total of 24 underlines, and this would be the power index for player one. Player two, again, we know the bottom is going to be 24. We go through and we say, how many times did we underline player two? That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten and ten, that's twenty. There's only four left. So let's see how many times player three gets underlined and how many times player four gets underlined. Player three, that's one, two. And player four, that's one, two. We've accounted for all the underlines. This is the shapley schubert power index for each player. This is a four-player example. And then you can convert this to a decimal or you can convert it to a percent, depending on how the question asks for your answer. So there is your four-player example.